Hey, hey, guys. What's going on? What's going on? You in tune with your girl. Keep it real, Neil, a.k.a. Neil for, f- Neil for money. Okay, I don't know why I always tend to mess up my own name. It's not good. But anyway, how you guys doing on this Sunday evening now? It is 622. Hope everybody has had a blessed, beautiful Sunday. So, what is this tutorial about? I'm going to do a little tutorial for you guys on Microsoft Expression Encoder 4. Um, this is my timer right here. You get a little timer box. Okay, I'm actually using the software right now to record this video. I had one up on YouTube like this, but I was just checking it and... The screen was scrambling the second time I saw that happening. So I'm going to take that one down. I'm going to replace it with this brand new edition. So first things first, let's go right here, guys. Okay, this is a screen capture program software. Okay, let's go right here to my encoder. Okay, can't show you the video because I'm actually taking the video. So I can't show you how to set up a video while I'm taking the video. So I can just show you how to encode a video. So let's go here. Okay, give it a second to open up. Okay, and there we go. Now, over here, this is my jobs that I've done. Most of these are already on my channel on YouTube. These names are just names that I use for my folder. There are different names on my YouTube channel. Okay, um, this, I really don't mess with this. I don't mess with any of this. I just click OK. At some point, you won't be able to see my cursor when it goes all the way down, like right now, because my screen is not allowing me to go all the way down with this version. I'm using Expression Encoder 4 Pro. Okay, um, so here we go. The first thing you need to do when you come here, you need to click on import. Import is here. Your files will open up. Um, for me, I'm going to go, let me see, let me see. I had a sample that I was using just to do uh, tutorials. Sample one, here it is. Let me select that, click on it. Click on your video that you choose in Clove. Press on OK. Here we go. Now, once your video has popped up, the first thing you want to do is you want to come over here to encoding quality. Click on the little arrow, triangle, whatever. Drop down box opens up. We want to click on best quality. Why best? Because the best is always the best. So now let's click on apply. Always click apply because if you don't click apply, it will not matter. It will not apply. Now let's scroll down here to encoding for devices. Once again, click on the arrow. Your drop down opens up. We're going to choose WMV. I'm not really sure what that stands for. I think it stands for Windows Media Video. I could be wrong. I'm not sure, but I am sure about what I'm doing. So once we click on that arrow for WMV, you scroll down because now your selection has opened up. You're going to come here to, this is what I like to use. I like to use VC-1 Xbox 360 HD, 1080p. Videos are always good when they're done in HD. YouTube loves HD videos, and so do viewers. So we're going to click on that one. We're going to click Apply. Always click Apply. If you notice, our screen just got large. Your video opened up because it's now in HD mode. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come here. I'm going to press Encoding. I'm going to press Encode. Press the Encode tab. I'm going to come down here to Video. Press on the video arrow, triangle, whatever. Uh, I'm going to come here. Okay, all of this, you can leave this here. Just always make, make sure that this, when you first come to encode, before you even go to video, always make sure your output format is at Windows Media. If it's not, you simply want to click on the arrow, 
bring your drop down up and click on Windows Media. Uh, video, I really don't mess with this. Just make sure it says VC-1 main. Audio, just make sure it says WMA Professional, which it usually always does. If not, always click on it and select it. Okay, you don't have to press apply because there's no apply for here. Just pick it from the drop down. Okay, video, you want to make sure that's on VC1, VC-1 main. Okay, that's already there. So that's good. Audio, like I said, always make sure it's on WMA Professional. Okay, click on your drop down. If it's not already selected, and select it. It's already selected. That's good. That's why I don't mess with this part. This is usually always this is usually always set up. Sometimes it may not be. So you know, just make sure it is. Okay. Now you can click on video once you made sure everything is set right here. Okay. All of these boxes are checked. Video, audio. Then you're gonna come to your video. Let me close it. After you do this, come here. Click on the arrow for video your drop down opens up mode make sure your mode is at CBR-1 pass I don't know you know guys this is just a setting that I find that works the best okay it gives me the best quality video so far I've had no problem with my videos okay um, buffer window I keep this on four seconds frame rate I always keep this on 30 okay keyframe Interval, I always keep this on four. These things are usually already preset, so I really don't have to mess with this area. But if you do, then just make sure mode is on CBR-1 pass. Make sure buffer is on four seconds. Frame rate should always be on 30. That's one of the best. Key frame rate, interval, make sure it's on four. Come down, make sure buy rate is on 8,000. Size mode, make sure it's on custom. It's going to be on custom because in the beginning when you set up your video, I'm going to try to do another video for you guys, showing you guys how to do that. I may have to do another, use another software, software to do that, to show you guys how to actually check and set up your video, okay? But keep this on custom. It's on custom because you're going to customize the size of your screen when you start. What you're going to do is there's going to be a red box. That's going to go around your screen. You're going to click on it. You're going to take it to the corner. You're going to drag it all the way across as far as you want it to go for your video. And that will customize the size of your screen that you're capturing. So, this is on custom with. I don't mess with the width. This is the custom part. of This is. You don't have to mess with the width once it's on custom. Because custom has already set the width and the height. Now, the next thing we want to do is scroll down, pull your window, uh, pull it down. Here, create separate file per stream. I leave this checked. Video aspect ratio, make sure this is on source. Display, I don't mess with this. Okay, I don't think you can because there's a lock right there. Force a square pixel. I always uncheck this box. Resize mode, I always keep this on letterbox. If it's not on letterbox, always select letterbox, okay? Now, the next thing I do is I come to audio. I hope you guys can see me, okay? This is not scrolling down with me, I'm noticing. But right beneath your video area, you're going to see audio. Click on the arrow for audio. Let me pull it up. A drop down is going to open up, okay? As you can see in here, Okay, um, as you can see in here, mode should be on CBR-1 pass. Byte trait should be on 384 kbps. Channel 5.1. Sample rate, this is at 4.1, 44.1. I like it to be on 48. Okay, so I'm going to change that to 48. All right, bits per sample. I hate the fact that this is not moving all the way down with me so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. But I'm trying to speak clear enough so that you can at least hear what I'm doing. And you'll see it for yourself on your screen once you download the software. So once again, mode is on CBR-1 pass, buy trade 384, 
384 channel is on 5.1 sample rate is on I change it to 48 because it's usually on 44 bits per sample that's at I like 24 sometimes it's not on 24 it may be on 16 I always change it to 24 okay so there you go that's your audio pretty much that's all for your audio because there is no more that's the whole audio screen right here uh, so, so quick recap for the video what did we do okay uh, let's go back up here to our video what we did was we made sure this was on Windows Media output format we made sure the video box was checked and it was on VC-1 main we made sure audio was checked and it was on WMA professional okay then we came we scrolled down we came to this area we made sure mode was on CBR-1 pass we made sure buffer window was on 4 seconds we made sure our frame rate was on 30 we made sure our keyframe interval was on 4 seconds we came down here we made sure buy trait was on 8000 size mode we made sure that was on custom which was already set because you customize the size of your screen when you begin to take your video okay well when you set up to take your video with this is already set because it's custom we clicked on audio scroll down we clicked on audio after all of this well matter of fact matter of fact we came here to this part okay uh, allow automatic resize and this box is normally never checked so I don't check it I don't mess with it uh, create separate file per stream this box is always checked so I don't mess with it video aspect ratio we made sure that was on source display I don't mess with this this is on lock anyway four square pixels I unchecked this box resize modes I made show, sure this was on letterbox audio we came down to audio we clicked in the audio tab audio arrow we came here to mode we made sure that was on CBR-1 pass by trade we made sure that was on 384 channel it was on 5.1 sample rate I changed it to 48 bits per sample I changed it to 24 okay so that's that part the next thing I like to do is I like to come up to the top and I like to click on my enhance tab okay I just come here I don't mess with any of this I just come here to turn up my volume I turn up my volume because the volume on my computer is not always that loud I want to make sure that my voice is project projecting loudly so that um, everyone can pretty much hear what I'm saying and you can follow along with me okay I hate tutorials when you can't understand the person you know you're like what do you say what's going on what happened what will what, what? go back go back go back I can't stand that so okay that's why I turn my volume up I want to make sure you hear me okay it's a story it's a tutorial so you're supposed to be able to hear me so you can follow along with me correct correct okay so once I've done all of this guys I'll just come over here I'll quickly press on play to check it real fast see you're not gonna hear nothing with this because this is a sample okay but if I'm using an actual video I'm encoding an actual video where I'm speaking like I'm doing right now I will check I will press play to check the sound and everything so after I set all of this up this is your encoding area you got to set all of this up once you do that you come here simply press encode you can't you probably can't see it now but encode press encode okay encode is right next to import import is what you first press to, to import your video now once you're finished setting all of this up come down here click on encode we're not encoding this video okay um because you know it's just a sample all right so once you click on the code but i'll show you very quickly what it will do this is going to open up your timer is going to tell you how long it's going to take for this video to encode so this video is not going to take long according to this timer we're looking at 12 minutes somewhat seconds okay but this is what you're going to see when you're encoding 
You're gonna send your little clock up here. It's gonna go around. If you can notice, it's turning green. It's gonna go around. I'm not gonna sit here and do that with you guys because that's gonna take a minute. 13 minutes to be exact. I thought it was 12, but now we're saying 13. I don't know. Anyway, but that's what you do, guys. You set up your area over here. Okay. Once you're finished over here, you can go to file. Okay. But once it's finished encoding, you can go to file. Okay. Wow. Okay. Well, I guess I can't open file because it's encoding. But I don't want to encode that, so I'm going to... Anyway, you would go to file. You would click on it. See, it won't come open. It keeps clicking off, but you would click on it, and you would go to save as. Your file would open up, okay, where your folders are, and you would, you know, save it. Give it whatever name you want, okay, and then you would save it, and boom. That would be it. So now I'm going to come up out of here. Okay, it's probably going to ask me, do I want to save this, which it will do if you don't save it. See, a job is still being pro pro processed. Are you sure you want to exit? Uh, yes, I do. Okay. Are you sure you want to exit? Yes. Do you want to save changes to your job? No. So, there we go, guys, and that was a quick little tutorial for you guys. I hope you understood me and you could follow along with me. But that was a nice little tutorial for you guys on Microsoft Encoder Expression in Microsoft Expression Encoder 4. Okay, like I said, I'm working with Encoder Pro. Okay, okay, I'm working with Pro right now. And that is pretty much it, you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, have a blessed day. I hope you have much success at your business. Okay, always remember to, you know, stay focused, stay diligent, stay at it. From your mouth to God's ears, as long as you stay with it, you stay at it, you will be victorious, you will be successful. Okay, that is the end of this tutorial. Kneel for money. Peace.